Hey guys, it's me, Soma, and today I'm going to be showing you my routine on grinding in Overlook Bay. So, it's not actually my routine, but like, this is what I do, this is probably what most of the world does, but I know that sometimes grinding for things can be overwhelming, and especially if you want to spend it all. So I'm going to show you what I do, and yeah, so, the first thing is the task, I know everyone says that, so we're going to do all these tasks here. So. What I like to start off with doing is getting my gift. So the VIP, I can always get in the morning. So I get that. And then I move to the fishing, which is like across from that. And I go over here and I go ahead and make my wishes. I get two because of the VIP. If you don't have VIP already and are thinking about getting it, you should totally get it because it gives you an extra wish. So. There we go, I get my two wishes here. So then over here, you have to wait to claim these gifts, but since I was setting up everything, I can claim these. You can open these now or save them if you'd like. Um, I'm saving them right now, but if you open these, you can get a chance of earning gems as well. So with doing that wish, you can then um, complete that task. You can now go to the pet plaza and then you could get that one task done, which is visit that. So. We just did that right now. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, we can now go on to the next thing, which is collecting these fruit trees. So I'm pretty sure there's like 12 around the map. I'm not 13, I don't know. I haven't actually counted, I just know where they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and go around the map. Um, I'm gonna go the route that my sister showed me cause she figured out a way to do it for herself, but you don't actually have to go this way. This just like, if you keep a route, then it's just easier to know what you're doing and you don't have to think much about it. And one thing I wanna point out, gels and the artifacts, I'm not sure about the fruit trees. However, they respawn before your task reset. So what I've done is accidentally pick these up before my task reset so then I couldn't do the complete all daily task. So just keep in mind when playing, if they reset again, don't pick them up until your task reset again because then you could get this reward. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all these fruit trees and then I will show you the next thing. Okay, so one thing I'd like to point out is if you see an artifact, what I do is I go ahead and pick it up right away because these are kind of difficult to find and if I just pass by it, I'll forget where I saw it and then have trouble finding it later. So that's what I like to do when I do see one of them and there are five around the map. So I see another one here and I'll just pick that up quickly so that I won't lose it. Ah, they've disappeared. <laughs> ah. So now I'm gonna go back to the wishing well and collect my fruit tree there. You're probably wondering why I didn't do that to begin with, and it's because my sister showed me this way and I just continue to stay on it. And guys, guess what? At the moment I'm in ninth place. I kinda need to fish more before someone takes that place, but you know, you got things to do, so I gotta set aside time to do things. Okay, so now I got all of the fruit. You may notice that you don't need to collect every single fruit tree to get this task but that's what i do so collect every single fruit tree and then play for 30 minutes you can collect that whenever okay so the next thing is you're gonna need your pet out whichever one you want i'm leveling up this one i think so i'm gonna take out that pet right there and we're going to go ahead and do this task while we do that task we're going to look for seashells and artifacts around the map so that we could complete those ones. So here's an artifact here that I accidentally passed up and then one over there that I accidentally passed up. I don't really know all of the locations and I kind of forget where all the locations are. So sometimes I have a hard time finding them so it takes me a while to get all the artifacts but I try my best and I normally end up finding it. So now I'm gonna go around the beach and collect seashells. If you don't know, seashells always spawn on sand. So 
so anywhere there's like sandy parts you go and you could find a seashell it won't be in the grass or anything so don't worry about looking around the map if you didn't know that already i don't know if they spawn up there like where those sandy patches are i haven't actually seen one up there before so i'm assuming not i know artifacts spawn like up here on this grassy bit so i've now completed that task i believe yes i have okay collect that okay so then my pet needs have been accumulating so we're gonna go ahead and go do them i should have been going to sleep first because i'm pretty sure this one popped up first but i'm gonna go to the movies and then while i wait i could just go ahead and throw this um, i then go home and when i'm doing my home task this is when i go to my backyard and collect my crops now this is a big thing the goal is to get all peach seeds and all sunflower seeds and that's how you'll make the most money but right now i only have apple orange 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 i think and i have a few sunflower seeds but it's not my whole farm so that's going to be a goal of mine is to get all sunflower seeds and all peach um, seeds because those give you the most gems when you harvest them. One thing to keep in mind is when you're harvesting, make sure you're paying attention because a lot of people click this button. You don't want to click that one because that won't, that will just take away your seeds. So you want to click harvest so then you can harvest them. Okay, so here's my farm now. The reason why they're like not in order is because I planted this first and I didn't really pay attention of where I was putting things. The most expensive seed is what's gonna give you the most income. If you wanna work your way up to it, if you wanna just in bulk save for it, it's up to you. A lot of people prefer other ways. I prefer just fully saving for it and then buying the most expensive ones but if you want to work your way up we did the harvest the crop and we did the pet needs so now we need to find our other artifacts after i'm done with those things i then go ahead and fish basically fish for 25 fishes now that we caught 25 fish we can go ahead and claim that task and now I'm gonna just go ahead and go around the map and find this last artifact. And a lot of times you can do your weekly task. These do complete in a week, so you don't have to worry about rushing through them. Within a week's time, I'm already completed them. Maybe in a couple days time, I've completed them. So yeah, work on these two because this will help you a lot. Found my last artifact. I think these are like bleachers or I have actually no idea what this is, but there's one right there if you ever have trouble finding it i've done all my daily tasks and i've um, completed weekly stuff if you have achievements you want to work on doing achievements i've already done a couple of those so the next thing i do is when it's nighttime i quickly teleport to the boardwalk and you can go ahead and quickly go to the lighthouse at night so that we could sell our artifacts it's on the first floor behind the stairs in here it's kind of hidden because you feel like you can't really go through that and then you talk to this big fly person and then you just go ahead and click yes and sell those so i got 75 from that and like i said this all varies depending on like how rare your items are now after that i go ahead and sell all my things so i then go to the organic farms and i sell every single one of my fruit so i'm just gonna sell that and i didn't sell my fish yet just because i haven't sold any of my fish from the tournament okay i'm gonna go to the common fish and just sell 25 after that you're pretty much done with everything so that is your basic thing to do every day or try to do it when you can this probably takes around 30 minutes i'd say okay so once you're done doing all the tasks that we have done previously i then fish and take out a pet so that once the pet needs accumulate i normally wait for like three sometimes i do miss them just because i take too long fishing i then go ahead and complete those tasks oops i'm at the wrong spot oopsies okay so since the um tournament has been here i haven't been um taking care of my pets like this but this is the method i was doing before grinding is something that you have to set aside time for so if you have 30 minutes if you have an hour 
whatever your time is that you have set aside for gaming grinding whatever and do it i know it's tiring to grind sometimes and you don't really want to do it i just find the fun in it i enjoy going on spending sprays and stuff so if you want to save up for so many pet pods so many vehicle crates so many whatever try not to splurge or anything because that's one way to grind and yeah so that's why my inventory is pretty um bare right now i mean i do have some stuff we could just do a quick little recap we claim our gift if you can get your gift went to the wishing well did our wish we did fruit trees seashells fish we did artifacts and then you can continue fishing and taking care of your pets to earn some more gems so that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed hope you found this helpful i just did this to maybe have a routine if you didn't have one already or if you just wanted to see what i do to get my gems and that's what i do thank you for watching this video if you'd like to like and subscribe i'd really appreciate it comment down below what you'd want to see on overlook bay and i'll see you guys next time bye